Good evening. It's Monday, December 5th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amitha Sharma, in for Maya Chabulsi. Governor Gavin Newsom says oil companies need to rein in their prices and profits or pay a penalty. And today's state lawmakers took up a proposal to do just that. KPBS reporter Alex Wynn has the story. It's about time. A couple of years too late. Rolando Ricardis thinks the prices that drivers pay for gas are ridiculous. <laughs> Think that gas, gas companies are gouging us? Of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, That's a silly question. <laughs> but it's no laughing matter for Governor Gavin Newsom. He called for a special legislative session today to work on a proposed penalty for oil companies when their profits exceed a certain threshold. Whereas from August to October 2022, Californians experienced some of the highest gasoline prices ever recorded in the state. Even though the price of crude oil declined during that time, state taxes and fees remained unchanged and gas prices did not increase outside the western United States and whereas. Much of this increase was caused by refiners. The average price in San Diego is about $4.81 per gallon. Nationwide, it is $3.40, a difference of about $1.41. And part of that can be explained away by the gases we pay at the pumps, but about 35 cents of that is what the California Consumer Watchdog called a mystery surcharge. Jimmy Court is the president of the Santa Monica-based Consumer Watchdog. There is no reason that uh, gas prices in California should be any more than 69 cents greater than U.S. gas prices, that's what it costs to, when you add environmental rules and taxes to the gas prices. The proposed law would set the maximum profit margin that oil refineries could make per gallon and would impose a penalty if oil companies exceed that amount. Kevin Slagle, spokesman for the Western State Petroleum Association, says that is a tax on oil companies and that will drive prices higher. He says prices are driven by market forces. When there's high demand for commodity, especially commodity like ours, which is a global commodity, and there's pressures from around the world for it, there is going to be higher earnings. University of San Diego economics professor Alan Jin says there is some truth to that, but that doesn't explain all the oil companies' record profits. It could be the case that the oil companies are just uh, taking advantage then of the, uh, the market forces here. Back in the midway, Ricardis doesn't hold much hope anything will come from the special legislative session. Does it ever? <laughs> I mean, have, were we just not paying $6 for gas? Alexander Wynn, KPPS News.